I'm back. Rosance for the Matrix and Road Show. I meant to make a video on this the other day. I didn't get around to it, but I wanted to at least give some thoughts because in one hand, it's kind of good. The other hand, it's not really good. No. Um, nothing really good came out of this, it seems. But the Friday the 13th lawsuit is over, allegedly. Okay. Uh, but the problem is it's convoluted. Now that it is over, there's still rights issues, problems everywhere. And what it means is we're probably not getting a Friday the 13th film anytime soon. It's ridiculous. Now, there is a way this could happen. I mean, Victor Miller would have to give some consent for it to happen. But then you've got an issue involving distribution that would lock this movie possibly only into a U.S. distribution lane. Well, that's going to be kind of hard these days. So, breaking. The Friday the 13th case is officially over, and Victor Miller once again ho owns his screenplay. This is uh, bloody disgusting. It's been a long road, but it appears we're heading towards some sort of closure in regards to the Friday the 13th rights battle. Part 3 star, entertainment lawyer, Larry Zerner, we know he played Shelly, has been keeping update, fans updated on the messy legal battle over the franchise rights that pitted Sean Cunningham and Horror Inc. against original screenwriter Victor Miller. According to Zerner, the case is officially over as Cunningham Horror Inc. failed to file a cert petition by 4 p.m. a 4 p.m. deadline. As of writing this, Victor Miller is allegedly still the official rights holder to the original Friday the 13th screenplay in the U.S. only. Good grief. But what does this mean for the future of the franchise and Jason Voorhees? It's a bit complicated, but the two sides working on or having reached a resolution would be the best case scenario for horror fans. If the two sides fail to reach any sort of agreement... Here's how the rights break down. It's not good, guys. It's not good. The fact that he didn't file a cert petition makes it slightly, very slightly, more likely that the parties are working out a resolution. But I wouldn't hold my breath. This is Zerner that said this. Can Victor and Sean just each make their own separate movies? Not really. Because Victor only owns U.S. rights only to the first script, and Sean owns adult Jason, hockey mask wearing Jason, but can't legally use him in a movie without Victor's permission. It's complicated. To put it simply, my understanding is Victor Miller could allow a studio to produce a Friday the 13th remake, but only it would only be released in the United States. That's That's terrible. What's new to this writer is that Sean can't legally use Jason Voorhees in a movie without Victor's permission. That is truly crippling. The hope here is that the two parties can come to some sort of agreement, move forward together. Otherwise, it's going to be exceptionally hard to find a legal workaround for the ramifications. And so, God, I don't think the game can move forward at all now, and, and that, of course, became a wildly popular game uh, that was started through Kickstarter. Everybody was playing that Friday the 13th game. And no movies. This looks like no movies, because these days, I'm not sure any studio is going to make a movie that's only going to get U.S. Uh, distribution. I just don't think that's going to happen. Because it's going to affect the box office a lot. And horror movies can and do perform well overseas. The, the reboot from Platinum Dunes, that movie did $90 million. Well, now we see what Halloween is doing. So uh, a Friday the 13th return, probably a $150 million worldwide box office gross. Maybe more if it's done well, if it's done really well. Um, but it doesn't look like that my favorite horror icon is coming back anytime soon, and that truly sucks. 
hopefully, what we all have to cross our fingers for is that Sean Cunningham, and look, I've got nothing against Victor Miller, got nothing against Sean Cunningham, but it's always been my understanding that Sean doesn't want to give a, a, a big percentage or a big enough percentage to Victor Miller in order to, to keep going once the movie comes out and gets released and the profits are all divvied up. I'm hoping that what whichever side is um, got an issue, because I assume this comes down to some kind of percentage split, is that they will work something out and realize, look, we can make a lot of money off of a Friday the 13th trilogy. You know, I mean, it might make three or four hundred million dollars worldwide, a, a trilogy. And we can we can all make a lot of money off that. Um, and I, I don't quite understand, not to mention, you know, uh, home distribution, et cetera, et cetera, that brings in money. Um I hope they get around to sort of understanding this and realizing they've got a massive fan base out there that is starved for the relaunch of the Friday the 13th franchise. We want to see Jason. I mean, look, I I love Michael Myers, and, and that's great, but I want to see Jason back on the big screen killing everybody. That's what everybody wants to see here. Uh, so... This is a damn shame. A damn shame. I hope they figure it out, come to an agreement, put the crap aside. This sort of insinuates that there might be some talks there. You know, put egos aside. That's what's got to happen. Put damn egos aside. So everybody, Sean, Victor, the fans, can all win here. Easy peasy. Tell me what you think, Rhodes and Matrix Show fans. Yeah, or Matrix and Road Show fans. You get the point. I'm not doing this whole video again over the ending. Peace. I'm out. Till next time.